next day UFC welterweight division matchup. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, here he is for my money. Might be the most well-rounded fighter in this division. A true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Three years apart, and they have the same height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 169 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Bazooka. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the jump. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down. And nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up, so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped for taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Digging kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he lands the knee to the body now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Connects with the right. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. That was a thudding leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head kick. They continue to exchange. Wow. He's hurt bad time. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out.
right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Right, Got the single collar tie. Nice loop and punch. Big kick. Seconds winding down in the opening round. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have the Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, he's going to put the pressure up. Get right in his face. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with this. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body to land right on the elbow. Watch the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Huge knee land. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real sneaky body kick. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the block. Ooh, what a punch. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Big elbow there, Lance. Back to the feet now. How good is that right hand? Look at the turn in that kick. And he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, yeah. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. So he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted when he saw the... Ready to fight? Ready. Third and final round here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy that showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
And there comes the separation now. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's very tricky as he throws that body kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Unable to get perfect. That is the reaction you're hoping to get. That will land the perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy, what a wrestler. That was an amazing takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Watch knees to the body. Oh! Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Not there. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. What finish is right. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Cardio you must have in order to secure this mini take. -down. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 29 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bazooka!